there's a smart board company that makes a board that lights up and it has AI. It plays at different levels. It helps you. It shows you legal moves if you want it to. And it's really nice. Yeah. This thing is so much better than Magnus. It resigns before move one. We're gonna demonstrate that. And if you wanna purchase it, use our code and save 10%. And uh, they hired Tatsav Abrahamian, who's played in many US women's championships, more than 10, uh, probably about 15. And uh, uh, she's a woman's grandmaster and she's like helping him with the chess stuff. And she's been a friend of mine since before you were born. And we're gonna sh demonstrate for you how it works. Now, the difference between this chess thing, chess thing? Smart board. Nobody got the searching for Bobby Fischer reference? Oh. <laughs> Ch think, chess thing, it's not chess thing, it's chess. Okay, so the difference between this chess apparatus and other chess apparati is most other chess things are strictly for super grandmasters. So if you're like, hmm, should I use uh, uh, Leela or should I use Komodo or should I use, you know, Deep Fritz or should I use Stockfish? Okay, if you play them 100 games, you're going to get zero against all of them. That doesn't matter. Okay, the difference is this is good if you're, you know, if you want a 3000 computer to beat you then this is the same as those. Difference is, this is a physical board. It's not 2D where you're looking at a computer screen. There's physical pieces and you can set it where the board helps you. So you touch a piece and it either shows you the legal moves, which is great if you're playing a beginner. Oh my God. We've taught so many beginner classes. Every move is illegal, okay? Some moves are super illegal. They're so illegal it's beyond the comprehension of you understanding how illegal it is. You have to see it to believe it, then you still wouldn't believe it. But on this board, if you touch a piece, it lights up the squares that are illegal. So now if you're teaching somebody chess, this is a great tool. Also, you can set it for helping you. So the green square, that's what it recommends. The red squares don't go there. So it has different colors, giving you some instruction while you're playing, especially if you have a situation, let's say you're teaching somebody, and let's say you're 2,000, although I don't think anybody watching my stream's ever been 2,000, but we'll pretend. And then you're playing somebody 1,200 and you're giving them the smackdown. Well, if they use the AI and they touch a piece and it suggests maybe a move better than what they were gonna play, or it tells them your move sucks and they play better, now it's a competitive game. So you can use it to learn from the AI you can play different levels. You don't have to play the 3000 computer. You can play weaker computers. So you have a chance, not much, but you can have it show you legal moves. And this was demonstrated previously by Eric Rosen on a couple of his videos on his YouTube channel, you can see. So, and Eric was actually playing with Tatev, although Tatev was playing the engine moves. So Tatev gave him the SmackDown. Because she just, it was just the engine playing and then Tatev I'm going would physically to, make the moves. I'm going to be doing that in a moment myself, right. playing the engine. So moves. anyway, this is better than other smart boards because it has a lot more functionality and it's new. And also it currently, currently, now if you're watching this on YouTube, it could be more currently because it could be later. But currently as we speak on Twitch, you can hook this up with the Lee Chess. So you can actually play on Lee Chess with this physical board. Um, and then in the future, there'll be all kinds of things you can do and you'll be able to play on chess.com also. And then Karen knows more about that than I do. I know nothing, <laughs> but I'm good at shilling. So. Well, and yeah. don't call it shilling because then you'll call me a bitch and then I'm going to leave mm -hmm. and, then, and then Joey Ingram's going to cry, et cetera. <laughs> Yeah, and I'll just add in a couple of things. Ben pretty much covered everything, but as you mentioned... Thanks to Bishops Vatels. There'll be some integrations coming um, with chess.com, so you can play on the physical board. Somebody else might be anywhere in the world playing on chess.com, and you can play each other. And um, I wanted to also just mention that um, a companion 
um, to the, the board itself is to, to access all the features, you have to install an app, which I did. Very easy to install. And that's where you, you um, make your selections for what kind of game you have and how much assistance each player is allowed to get from the board. And Thanks, the, Farty Party. The other two things I just wanted to mention real quick, and then we're going to move to the board, is uh, I was really, I'm really impressed by the sensitivity of the sensors. Um, I don't know. Yeah, the DGT boards, sometimes they mess up. As sometimes a comparison, yeah. This thing's really good at, at understanding what piece you're touching and moving. And if you make an illegal move, nothing lights up. It's like, what are you doing? So, yeah. Like, if I, if I try to, like, castle illegally, which I did try to do, it, it doesn't light. It's like, what's happening? Like, stop doing that. Make legal moves. So you know if you're making an illegal move because it won't light up in blue telling you you're making a legal move. It's really good for kids because kids like colors and stuff, although I like colors. Mm -hmm. And also, obviously, holiday season is coming up, so this would be a perfect gift for that person you never give a gift to because you always forget. Mm -hmm. And then um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention that you touched on is the Chess Up Academy is coming soon. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really excited to see what is going to be in, in that because there'll be some learning um, opportunities with the board. So they, ha they haven't quite gotten that done yet. This is a new product. Now, when I was a little kid and you had these smart boards where you actually played physically on the board, I remember when I was 7, 10, 15 years old, you had to press down on the board and then press where you were going to like hard so it knew what you were doing. This, this, no. This, this knows what you're doing. You don't have to do anything different. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a nice chessboard. You could just use it as a chessboard and, and, and not have it help you. You can just play chess on it. It's, it's, it's nice. But obviously, it's helpful for beginners. It's helpful if you're playing somebody who's much weaker than you. It's helpful for kids because it's all lit up and it's interesting. And it's also a good uh, partner if you want to play a different level. You can play a 2,000 strength, 3,000 strength. One billion strength, whatever you want to do. And there's one level higher than 3,000, which is, um, what's the word? Uh, it's, it's a beta version. It hasn't, it's not official yet. It's the Hans Niemann uh, AI. That, that one really kicks your ass. Man, it crush you. It even beats Magnus every game. 